Hey there friends and enemies, Jopa here again and today we got the return of this week in Destiny for the first time in 2024 and this one has a ton of very useful information from gameplay changes to quality of life updates the community has been requesting for a very long time and some of these are pretty exciting. So. First off, on January 30th, we are getting Riven's Wishes, which will provide new weekly pursuits that players can complete to redeem a prize of their choosing from a pool of rewards each week for six straight weeks. That very same day will also kick off Moments of Triumph 2023, which will offer in-game and physical bungee rewards, as well as 30 challenges to honor your last year of achievements. More information will be shared about Riven's Wishes and Moments of Triumph in next week's TWID. That's very interesting. Again, we need more information to get excited about it, but at least it is something to tide people over who are still playing the game on the road to the final shape. So that's a very good thing. And the fact that they're getting it out so quickly is to be commended in my opinion because I wasn't expecting anything new like the Riven's Wishes or even Moments of Triumph until later on, maybe sometime in February or heading into March. We still have all the way until June before the final shape drops, so lots of different content to play through if you're playing catch-up, but otherwise there might not be a whole lot to look forward to. We're also, as far as the first quality of life change, we're getting a new glimmer cap. I know that's something a lot of people have been requesting, but now as of January 30th, you can carry 500,000 glimmer, which is a massive upgrade compared to what we have now and will allow you to store a bunch. And then as you use it, you can refill it a lot faster. Glimmer will be used in the exact same way that it is used now. We just have a lot more of it that we can carry. And again, it's a nice change that people have been talking about for a long time. There were a lot of comments today about increasing vault space, but I feel like no matter how many times they increase the vault space, people will still fill it up all the time. I hope we do get more vault space maybe with the final shape, but I do think people need to learn to stop hoarding. That's just a personal thing that I, I understand folks who want to keep as many things as possible, but oftentimes it's unnecessary. Now, here is a bigger quality of life change in my opinion, and that is we are going to be able to change our guardian's look during with character customization at any time, as many times as you want, and there's no price on it, there's no cap on it, there's no materials needed, nothing of that nature. You can freely adjust the appearance of your character. The only thing you won't be able to do is change your character type, like you won't be able to change from male to female or from awoken to human or anything like that. So that's the only change that is happening that won't be adjustable in the future. But after that, you're also going to be able to do whatever appearance you want and the appearances seem to be a lot better options from what it looks like in the twig. Also in March, we will see the resetting of the Synthweave Bounty Cap. This is to allow you to get more transmog options leading up into the final shape. So again, another quality of life win in my personal opinion. Finally, the last thing I'm going to talk about with this twid is we are getting voting, so check your emails for the Festival of the Lost Armor, and this year's armor selections are pretty cool. You have good wizards or bad wizards, evil wizards. Now, for me personally, as a Titan main, I really like the look of the good wizards, and you got to remember, I know the evil wizards are dark and brooding and everything like that, but you got to think about them as they're going to be adjusted, as you're going to add shaders to them and everything, and that's something I don't think people are taking into account, because in my personal opinion, the light armor set looks significantly better overall just as a base appearance if you consider what it looks like with other colors and everything like that i would definitely vote for the light appearance personally and i think it's just much better on all of the different characters including the hunter and warlock and obviously my favorite titan as well but 
that's just a personal preference of mine. Vote however you like, but I, I just also can't vibe with the elf shoes that we see on the three classes for the evil wizards as well. So that's just a personal feeling of mine. You can vote however you want, but I am definitely voting for the good wizards. So that's going to do it for me. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you want to see more Destiny 2 content for me going forward. I'm still going to be covering the game on the road to the final shape, and I'm looking forward to catching up, getting all the exotics that I might have missed on the road to uh, this final expansion of the 10-year journey. But other than that, there might not be as much Destiny 2 content from me as you would normally expect on the channel. That being said, I'm still going to cover whenever news pops up about the game. And I'm still looking forward to the final shape quite a bit. Anyway, my name is Jopa. Have a good one, and I'll catch you all later.